Hello, I'm Janae Tipsharani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interests.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news global dairy trade auction prices have fallen 7.4%. The slump was led by an even sharper fall in the price of our main export, whole milk powder, which was down 10.4%. Today's drop has left prices 24% below this time last year when they were on the rise and has taken prices back to levels last seen in September. The recent revisions down in the payout levels from most dairy companies may not have been steep enough. These new dairy price levels will test and stress the patience of both farmers and bankers. As for our currency, the auction results sparked the New Zealand dollar to flutter briefly before recovering to pre-auction levels. BP has announced it suffered its largest ever annual loss of $6.5 billion last year. With its net income around a quarter the size of analysts' expectations, the loss is bigger than that suffered in 2010 when it took a $17.2 billion hit from the explosion in the Gulf of Mexico. BP says it plans to cut 7,000 jobs, or nearly 9% of its workforce, by the end of the year. The price of US crude oil slipped below $30 a barrel overnight, as hopes of a deal between Russia and OPEC to cut output faded. The oil price is currently just over a dollar lower than this time yesterday, at $30.40 a barrel. Meanwhile, Brent crude is down to $33.30 a barrel. Low fuel prices have contributed towards fairly strong car sales and indicator of manufacturing activity in the US last month. While blizzards saw the sale of new vehicles fall 2% from January last year, sales are poised to remain buoyant throughout the year. Over to Hong Kong, property sales are taking a major dive. Sales plunged to 3,123 in January, the lowest figure for the month since government records started in 1991. The number of transactions made fell 41% month-on-month and 62% year-on-year. Developers are slowing down on new launches in the wake of bearish sentiment and ahead of the Chinese New Year holidays. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield has been knocked back further from yesterday to 1.88%. The gold price remains unchanged at $1,125 an ounce. The Kiwi dollar has had a strong start to the day, despite weak global dairy trade auction results. It's at 65.0 US cents, 92.0 Australian cents and 59.6 Euro cents. The TWI5 is at 70.5. I'm Janae Tibshirani and that was 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.